All India Radio presents Morning News. Good morning. I am Lalema Aneja Dang. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to launch nationwide Fit India movement today on the occasion of National Sports Day. President Ramnath Kovind to give away the National Sports Awards. Government to set up 75 new medical colleges in the next three years. Assam government to make 200 foreigners tribunals operational from the first of next month to redress grievances over non-inclusion of names in NRC. Jammu and Kashmir governor announces to open 50 new degree colleges in the state and Home Minister Amit Shah to flag off first fleet of eco-friendly electric buses in Ahmedabad this morning. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will launch a nationwide Fit India movement today on the occasion of National Sports Day. The campaign is aimed at encouraging people to inculcate physical activity and sports in their day-to-day -day life. At a special function in New Delhi, Prime Minister Modi will administer the oath of fitness to all. In his Mon Ki Baat program last Sunday, the Prime Minister had announced the launch of Fit India movement to take the country forward on the path of fitness and wellness. 29 अगस्त राष्ट्रीय खेल दिवस के रूप में मनाया जाता है इस अवसर पर हम देश भर में फिट इंडिया मूवमेंट लॉन्च करने वाले हैं खुद को फिट रखना है देश को फिट बनाना है हर एक के लिए बच्चे बुजुर्ग युवा महिला सबके लिए ये बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग अभियान हो और ये आपका अपना होगा मैं खुद आपको जोड़े बिना रहने वाला नहीं हूँ क्यूँकी आपको मैं फिट देखना चाहता हूँ आपको फिटनेस के लिए जागरूक बनाना चाहता हूँ Talking to AIR News exclusively, Sports Minister Kiran Rijiju urged all citizens of the country to participate in the Fit India movement in large numbers. Today, I am very happy that Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji is going to launch Fit India movement on this day. We also remember all our sports person, especially our hero, the hockey wizard Dhyan Chand. So on this National Sports Day, the Fit India movement launch is going to galvanize the people of this country. We want to see our country very strong and prosperous. For that, every Indian must be fit. Several athletes have lauded the government's initiative to launch Fit India movement. Talking to AIR, cricketer Gautam Gambhir said, "Fit India will also become a huge initiative like Khelo India." He said, "It is very important to remain fit in order to become a good sports person." Great initiative. I think our government has started Kilo India previously. Now with Fit India, I think the kind of awareness that has been created among the youth and even generally the amount of people who go to the gym. Plus, if you see, they are so conscious about their own fitness, diet, and everything. I think it's a fabulous initiative, and I hope a lot of people can take up this initiative and become fit. The fitter you are, the better decision making you have. Our correspondent reports that India has improved its ranking on the global healthcare access and quality in the recent years and such initiatives are expected to help improve the country's position in the world. President Ramnath Kovind will give away the National Sports Awards in New Delhi today. Wrestler Bajrang Punia and para athlete Deepa Malik will be conferred with Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award. Indian all-rounder Ravindra Jadeja, footballer Gurpreet Singh Sandhu, hockey player Chinglen Sana Kangujam, sprinter Mohammad Anas, heptathlete Swapna Barman, and shooter Anjum Modgil are among some important names to be given the Arjuna Award. IPS officer Aparna Kumar will be honoured with the Tenzing Norgay National Adventure Award 2018 in the Land Adventure category. All India Radio Delhi will broadcast live commentary on the presentation of the award from 4:55 p.m. This can be heard on Indraprast FM Gold Channel and additional frequencies. The Union Cabinet has approved setting up of 75 new medical colleges by 2021-22. The move will add 15,700 more MBBS seats in the country. These medical colleges will be established in underserved areas having no such colleges with at least 200 bedded district hospitals preference will be given to aspirational districts and district hospitals having 300 beds this was informed by information and broadcasting minister prakash javrekar to the media after the cabinet meeting yesterday
This is the biggest ever expansion of medical education facilities throughout the world. So this is one major decision which will benefit thousands of students every year and the ultimately the poor and the rural population will benefit. The union cabinet has relaxed foreign direct investment rule for foreign single brand retailers and also permitted foreign investment in contract manufacturing and coal mining. The union cabinet has also given ex post facto approval for the establishment of an international coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure, CDRI, along with its supporting secretariat office in New Delhi. The proposal was approved by the Prime Minister on the 13th of August 2019. The CDRI is proposed to be launched at the UN Climate Action Summit in New York on the 23rd of next month. In another decision, ex post facto approval to the Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, between India and Gambia in the field of traditional systems of medicine. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will visit Ladakh today to inaugurate a Vigyan Mela showcasing crops and grains suitable for growing in high altitude areas. Mr Singh's visit to Ladakh will be his first to the Union Territory after it was carved out from the state of Jammu and Kashmir earlier this month. A senior Defence Ministry official said the event is being organised to share research-generated farming technology with locals of Ladakh to make their life easier. Here's a report from our correspondent. Defence Minister will be inaugurating the 26th Ladakhi Kisanja One Weekend Mela at Defence Institute of High Altitude Research, Dihar, during his visit. Dihar is a research unit of DRDO in Ladakh. Rajna Singh is also expected to hold pilots with both locals and military officials deployed in the region. Dihar is helping the farmers in revolutionizing the agriculture in cold desert region of Ladakh. With Ramesh Chandra, this is Young Chandolma from Lelada. The CBI will soon file a supplementary charge sheet in connection with 3,600 crore rupee Augusta Westland VVIP chopper deal case. The CBI told a Delhi court that the supplementary charge sheet on the basis of investigation conducted till date is in the process of being filed. Opposing the bail plea of alleged middleman Christian James Michel, the CBI said the agency is continuing to ascertain involvement of other accused public servants of different departments and private persons suspected to be involved in this case. The CBI also told the court that Michel is further required for confrontation with certain witnesses and suspects. For quick news updates, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. The Assam government has said that opportunity to prove their citizenship will be given to those whose name doesn't figure in the final NRC list. Talking to AIR, additional chief secretary of the Home and Political Department, Kumar Sanjay Krishna said the 200 foreigners tribunals will become functional from the 1st of September in Assam. He said if someone's name doesn't appear in the NRC, he or she can appeal before the foreigners tribunals. Mr. Krishna said that tribunals are expected to dispose of the appeal within 60 days. He said that the center and the Assam government will decide later on what is to be done with those who fail to prove their Indian citizenship through courts. Final NRC is published on 31st of August. A number of people are likely to be out of the National Register of Citizenship. If a person's name is not there in the NRC, that doesn't mean that he is not an Indian citizen or he is a foreigner. Jammu and Kashmir Governor Satyapal Malik has announced to open 50 new colleges in the state. Addressing a press conference in Srinagar yesterday, he said this will be in addition to 50 colleges announced by the state government earlier. अभी 50 कॉलेज हमने पिछले 6 महीने में दिए थे 50 डिग्री कॉलेज हम और देने वाले हैं जूनियर हाई स्कूल्स में हमने 238 को अपग्रेड किया था अब हम और अपग्रेड करेंगे गर्ल्स के लिए हम अलग कॉलेज दे रहे हैं मिस्टर मलिक सेड 50000 वैकेंसीज इन वेरियस गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स विल आल्सो बी फिल्ड इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मंथ्स द गवर्नर अर्ज द यूथ टू कम फॉरवर्ड एंड पार्टिसिपेट एक्टिवली इन दिस रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोसेस एज दिस विल बी द लार्जेस्ट single recruitment drive ever in Jammu and Kashmir or Ladakh. He said the government is working with various central agencies to put together a scheme to provide a minimum support price for the apple crop in the state. The governor said NAFID is willing to commit over 5,000 crore rupees to procure over 50% of apple production of the state. This will benefit over 7 lakh apple farmers. 
Union Home Minister Amit Shah will flag off the first fleet of eco-friendly electric buses in Ahmedabad this morning. He will also inaugurate the battery swap facilities with robotic arm. Here's more from a correspondent. Ahmedabad Municipal Commissioner Vijay Nehra said that Union Home Minister Amit Shah would mark the end of three-month-long campaign of Mission Million Tree near Science City. He said that planting of 10 lakh trees has been completed with the support of the people during the current monsoon to make Ahmedabad the greenest city. Mr. Amit Shah would also flag off 18 electric buses with a facility of battery swap technology. 32 more such state-of-art buses would also join this BRTS fleet in next month, taking the total Total number of such e buses to 50. Yogesh Pandya, Air News, Ahmedabad. In Mexico, at least 25 people were killed and 11 badly wounded when gunmen burst into a strip club in the eastern city of Coatzacoalcos on Tuesday night and doused it with gasoline and ignited a raging fire. Survivors said gunmen descended on the bar, blocked the entrances and set the club alight. But because of the loud music pounding inside, many patrons and dancers did not even notice the attack until the entire bar was in flames, they added. Officials said the president has condemned condemned the shameful attack and said federal authorities would investigate. Maharashtra government has decided to grant exemption from the state goods and services tax to Bollywood film Mission Mangal, which is about the ISRO's successful Mangalyan mission. The decision was taken at a meeting of the state cabinet, chaired by Chief Minister Devendra Padnavis in Mumbai yesterday. An official statement said that the film conveys a positive message about science and to take the message further to common people. And now for an overview of today's newspapers, it's over to Abhishek Mukhopadhyay. Thank you, Lalima. Five judge Supreme Court bench to hear JNK challenge Article 370 pleas to be taken up in October. Usually allowed to travel in Valley is the Hindustan Times headline. The Business Standard reports that single brand retail FDI norms have been relaxed as decided by the Union Cabinet meeting yesterday. Also exports to be factored in to meet 30% domestic sourcing norm. UK Parliament suspended ahead of Brexit deadline amid huge row, says the Asian Age. The British Prime Minister Mr Boris Johnson had spoken to Queen Elizabeth II to request an end to the current Parliament session. The pioneer on his sports page quotes world champion PV Sindhu's coach Pulela Gopichand is saying that we have not invested in coaches and that was worrisome. In an interesting observation, the Times of India reports of lipstick index holding true for Indian markets. Most cosmetic companies have reported a robust double-digit growth in demand and are rolling out 15 to 25 shades every month, bucking the slowdown in markets. And finally, passengers on metro trains in the country will be allowed to carry one bag weighing up to 25 kg up from the earlier limit of 15 kg, according to an Urban Affairs Ministry notification, writes the Hindu. And with that, it's back to you, Lalima. Thank you, Abhishek. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to launch nationwide Fit India movement today on the occasion of National Sports Day. President Ramnath Kovind to give away the National Sports Awards. Government to set up 75 new medical colleges in the next three years. Assam government to make 200 foreigners tribunals operational from the first of next month to redress grievances over non-inclusion of names in NRC. Jammu and Kashmir governor announces to open 50 new degree colleges in the state. And Home Minister Amit Shah to flag off first fleet of eco-friendly electric buses in Ahmedabad this morning. And with that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.